Smart and Microsoft are providing an upgrade for your Smart Room system with Skype for Business to Microsoft Teams Rooms. If you have an active Smart Service Plan, you qualify for this upgrade. In this video, we'll show you how to complete the upgrade. You can also refer to smarttech.com forward slash srsv2 for detailed steps. To get started, you need the srsv2 dongle, which is included in the upgrade kit Smart provides, a blank, unencrypted USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of space, and a USB keyboard and mouse. For room systems with SmartBoard 8000i G5 series interactive displays, the upgrade automatically turns off the presence detection sensor on each display. This prevents an issue that can occasionally cause blank screens. If you experience blank screens and the present detection sensor is not turned off, or if it's turned on by accident, you can turn the sensor off manually. To turn off the presence detection sensor, press the menu button on the side of the display. Press the down arrow button until the setup menu option is selected, and then press set. Press the down arrow button until the proximity menu option is selected, and then press the left or right arrow buttons to change the proximity options value to off. Finally, press the menu button until the on-screen display menu closes. For room systems with SmartBoard 8000i G5 series interactive displays, you should also enable a screensaver to prevent screen burn-in. You can set this screensaver and power plan for the Skype user account by double-clicking the Enable Screensaver and Power Plan Script shortcut on the Admin User's Desktop. We'll show you how to do that later in this video. Begin the upgrade by removing cables Microsoft Teams Rooms software won't use and connecting the SRS V2 dongle. If your room system includes a wall mount kit with panels that cover the cables below the display, remove those panels. If your room system includes two interactive displays, move the camera mounted on the top of the displays to the display on the right. Now, tilt the display on the left so that you can access the cables behind it. To do this, unlock the green tabs and use the display's kickstands. Disconnect the USB bridge cable and the USB cable that's connected to it and remove these cables. Disconnect the HDMI and VGA cables from the co-molded video capture cable. Remove the co-molded cable and the VGA cable. Connect the SRS V2 dongle to the blue USB 3 connector on the computing appliance. Disconnect the HDMI cable from the computing appliance's HDMI capture connector and then connect it to the SRS V2 dongle. Create an FAT32 formatted bootable USB drive. A link to instructions from Microsoft is available at smarttech.com forward slash SRS V2. Download the Microsoft Teams Rooms system software image by going to smarttech.com forward slash SRSV2 and clicking the Downloads link. Unzip the downloaded file to the USB drive's root folder. Connect the USB drive and the USB keyboard and mouse to the computing appliance. On the console, go to Options, Restart, and then tap Yes. The system will then restart. When the blue screen appears, tap the Delete key on the keyboard repeatedly to enter the BIOS. Use the arrow keys to select the Boot tab. Select Hard Drive BBS Properties and press Enter. Select Boot Option Number 1 and press Enter. Select the USB drive that you connected to the computing appliance and press Enter. Press F4, select Yes, and press Enter. The room system restarts, installs the software, applies updates, and then turns off. This process takes about 25 minutes. After the room system turns off, disconnect the USB drive and turn the room system back on. After 10 minutes, the room system prompts you to select a language. Select a language, then a region, then a keyboard layout. 
The system will then restart. After the system restarts, click Exit. Click the admin account, enter lowercase sfb with no spaces in the password field, and press Enter. You might be prompted to update the Smart Touch system firmware at this point. If you are, follow the on-screen instructions. Open the time and language settings and make sure the date, time, time zone, and language are correct. Open the display settings. Move the display icons so that the smaller icon for the console is on the left. Then, click the Room Consoles icon and select Make this my main display. Click Power and Sleep, click Additional Power Settings, and then select your preferred power plan or power settings. For room systems with SmartBoard 8000i G5 series interactive displays, double-click the Enable Screensaver and Power Plan script on the desktop to set Smart's recommended screensaver and power plan for these displays. Open Smart Settings, click Smart Hardware Settings, click Advanced Settings for the first display you want to calibrate, and then click Calibrate. Follow the on-screen instructions to calibrate the display, and then repeat this process if the room system has more than one display. Sign out of the Windows Admin account and sign into the Skype account. The Skype account doesn't have a password. Read the End User License Agreement, accept the Terms of Use, and click Next. Enter the ID and password for the Microsoft Teams or Skype for Business Room account. Note that this is the SIP URI for your Microsoft Teams or Skype for Business Room account. If the Room account is configured for Microsoft Teams, select Skype for Business and Microsoft Teams default in the Supported Meeting Mode drop-down list. Otherwise, if the Room account is configured for Skype for Business, select Skype for Business default and Microsoft Teams in the drop-down list. Then tap Next. If your Microsoft Exchange sign-in credentials are different from your SIP URI credentials, Enter your Microsoft Exchange email and password. Then tap Next and Finish. The room system restarts and displays the Microsoft Teams room user interface. Tap More. Tap Settings. Enter the admin password. And then tap Yes. Tap Meetings and enable the appropriate option for your organization. Tap Device. Enable dual monitor mode if you have more than one display, and disable Bluetooth beaconing. Tap Peripherals and select Echo Cancelling Speakerphone Smart Audio Conferencing System in the Microphone for Conferencing. Make the same selection for the Speaker for Conferencing and Default Speaker drop-down lists. Then select None in the Content Camera Preview drop-down list. Tap Save and Exit. You're nearly done. Disconnect the USB keyboard and mouse from the computing appliance and then reconnect any USB cables that you disconnected earlier. Secure the SRS V2 dongle to the wall, stand, or other available fixed surface with the 3M dual lock reclosable fasteners included in the upgrade kit. Disengage the green kickstands and rest the display back against the wall mount. If you move the camera, move it back to its original position. If you removed panels, replace them. The upgrade is complete. Your room system has now been upgraded to Microsoft Teams Rooms.